What is up guys, Fan here. I'm currently at the CBD area. Today is uh, the period whereby uh, Singapore is having a partial lockdown of the country, the circuit breaker as the government likes to call it. So today I'm going to see how the central business district and uh, we're going to see how it is. So I'm currently here now at La Passat, my first location and uh, we're going to see how it is inside there. Uh, definitely some of the chairs have been removed as you can see and uh, there's nobody here right now other than the staff that is working here. So right now I'm at uh, Boat Key, Singapore River and uh, as you can see, not really much people here other than a few people walking around, jogging It's really deserted, there's nobody here Now usually this place will be packed with tourists even the public coming here to eat the famed Singaporean chili crab It's all gone, there's nobody here All of the bars, the pubs, uh, the shops have all closed There's no one here all of the chairs and the tables have been removed in the restaurants to prevent people from sitting, I guess. So, um, as I was riding around town just now, there were still vehicles on the road, but less of it. Traffic is definitely thinned out. Uh, something that you don't really see every day, especially in the city area. It's usually packed with traffic, but uh, I managed to get through here like maybe half the time and I'm walking along Singapore River right now as you can see there's only a few people exercising, jogging and people like me walking around to document this it feels weird walking down here with no people on inside this is uh it's really depressing uh. I'm walking on the Cavendish Bridge now there are no boats the typical boats that bring dories around there's no one here uh -huh. I ran into a uh, a jogger, an American jogger from Wolverhampton, he shouted at me, Hey man, this is like the best photo opportunity for you. And I completely agree, which is why I'm here documenting this. But definitely I'm taking my own precautions to have my mask with me, keeping my distance, and I'm all alone right now. This 7-Eleven behind me, near the Malayan, is still open, but no customers. Okay, I'm at the Malayan area right now. No tourists, as you can see behind me, at the famed Malayan. A very strange sight to see. Even the food shops are permitted to open. The shops at One Fullerton have been closed. No one is here maintaining the stalls. There's no one here buying also. But I guess they don't see any point in opening because they know that nobody will come here and they might as well close Traffic is so clear that the buses have to resort to stopping despite not dropping off or picking up any passengers so that they won't bunch up with each other and as you can see, this office space Nobody. It's right now uh, almost 2 o'clock and there's nobody here. With the exception of this 7-Eleven that is open right now. And also a taxi waiting for passenger I think. There are still some vehicles along the roads. But that should be okay I guess because uh, it's not really much vehicles anyways. So this is Raffles Place at the financial center of Singapore. And uh, usually it's packed with people, packed with office workers But since they've all been given the order to work from home There's like nobody here Look at this, behind me, nobody here You know it's really fascinating to see places, places that are usually crowded with people Kind of empty like this But at the same time it's sad it's, It shows the state of what our country is currently in right now The fear, the measures and everything that is being undertaken to prevent further spread of the coronavirus. All I can say is this is definitely one for the history. For the history, it's very sad but fascinating at the same time.
Okay guys, so this is Raffles Place Exchange uh, The MRT station, everything is closed Nobody around Except for a few essential shops That are selling food items uh, But most of it is closed And also there's a handful of people here walking around All I can say is it's pretty sad To see the state that we're currently in right now Okay, one final place we're gonna visit before we get out of here. Uh, hopefully, we can go in and see how the situation like. Okay, guys. So right now I'm in Marina Bay at the promenade over here, and um, as you can see, there's not really much people. Other people cycling, jogging, walking around. Situation here is very bad. Anyway, right in front of me is Marina Bay Sands. I'm gonna try to document uh, the Marina Bay Sands, the shops at the Marina Bay, to see how is the situation over there. So I'm not sure how to go in because uh, most of the access is closed. But we're still gonna try to get in there. Okay, so I've been walking down this promenade now for quite some time and all the entrances seem to be closed. I think the whole of Marina Bay Sands is closed. There is no way I'm getting in there. Just gonna have a look over here. It looks like the fountain hasn't been run in a few days. Look at this, it's really empty. Under the Art Science Museum now, over here. And uh, this place really looks like a, a zombie apocalypse, you know. There's uh, really no one here. Um, I don't think I can get access to the Marina Bay Sands because all the entrances seem closed. But we're gonna just go to the Helix Bridge right ahead of us. Only one shop behind me that is open so far. This uh, cafe right here. <laughs> Helix Bridge, one of the architectural marvels of Singapore. But there's really no one on this bridge. There's a couple of runners that's ahead of me. But other than that, there's really no one here. Look at this. It's usually filled with a lot of tourists admiring the Marina Bay skyline below and people traversing back and forth from uh, that side to Marina Bay Sands. No words can explain uh, what am I feeling right now. So I spoke to a security in which uh, he's vending one of the entrances and uh, actually there's no access to the public at this time because all the facilities in Marina Bay Sands is closed. Uh, they're only letting in maintenance staff, security and people who actually work there so there's no way I'm getting in and uh, I guess uh, I'm out of here.